Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about the antecedent and consequent of a, of a ratio. So for this, uh, we will uh, take some uh, examples. So our first example, it is given. A ratio in simplest form is 11 is to 15. If its antecedent is 121, find its consequent. So if we write our ratio, that it is ratio. It is given 11 is to 15. So a ratio you will first write it in fraction. So it will be 11 by 15, the fraction will be. Now the, the extended form, that means 11 if we multiply by 2 by or 3, it will become 22 or 33. So that will be the extended form of this sum. And uh, if we extend it, for example, you multiply by 2, so it will be 22 and 15 if you multiply by 2, it will become 30, 30. So this upper part, it is known as the antecedent. And the lower part is known as the consequent. So in this matter, we have to understand if we want to expand in our number that is 11 by 15, we have to multiply both the number with a similar digit. That means we cannot multiply 11 into 2 and 15 into 3. So you have to multiply. So I multiply both the numbers by 2. So now solve this question. So in this question, it is also given that 11 by 15. So that will equation it is given the antecedent that means the upper number is 121 that means we have to find a lower number so you keep a question mark so you have to find a lower number so now you have to done do that is so now you have to think of a number by which 11 into that number that will be equal to 121 so for that we have to divide 121 by 11 so which will become 11 11 say 121 so you know that it will become 11 into 11 Equals to 121, and as I said now, that if we are multiplying 11 into 11, and that means we have to multiply 15 with 11 also, so it will become 15 into 11, so that will be equal to 165. That means our answer that for the consequent it is, and this is the anti, so our answer will be 165, will be the answer for this question. So in our second question it is given, a ratio in simplest form is 7 is to 12. If its consequent is 144, find its antecedent. So as I told now only, that the upper part is the antecedent and the lower part is a consequent. So that means in this question our consequent, that means the lower part of the extension is given. So write ratio equals to 7 is to 12. So now write in the fractional value that is 7 by 12. And if we extend this, that will be equal to. So the lower part is given. It is given the consequent is given. That means 144. And, and we have to, that means we have to find the answer and that is the upper part. So this with the anti. And this is the con C. So we have to find the upper part for so for that. We have to think of a number by which 12 into that number will be 144. So I have to divide 144 by 12. So it becomes 144 by 12. So it, it is 12 itself. That means 12, 12 is a 144, it will die. So it will become 12. So now that 7, we write like this only now. Now 12 into 12, we got it answer. That is equal to 144 we got. Now you have to multiply 7 with 12 also. So we write 7 into 12, that is equal to 84. So therefore 84 will be our antecedent. So that antecedent. Equals to 84 for this answer. So this will be the final answer for this question. So thanks for watching this video. And please subscribe my channel for more solutions.